Okay, my donor card um, today goes to hospital staff. Um, you may have heard that Leo Varadkar came out and said that all hospital staff must be available to work like full whack over the Christmas. I uh, didn't want nurses taking the first two weeks off on annual leave mm -hmm. or doctors taking a week off. Um, and, you know, as you know, uh, Leo was Minister of Health and before that he was an actual doctor himself before he joined, um, well, became a member of the Dáil. The doll, of course, um, breaks up for eight weeks over the summer, three weeks over Christmas. So, I mean, the good news is Leo, Dr. Uh, Leo Radker, will be available over the three weeks, I hope, to help out all the staff. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> so... <laughs> you see, the thing is, really, whether he's, whether he's right or wrong, factually, he kind of picked the wrong people to mess with, didn't he? Because like ev everybody loves doctors and nurses. Anyone, when yeah. people go in and people give out about the health service, then you go into hospital, you have an experienced sick kid or something, yes. and everyone comes away yeah. going, those but, people but are here. Nobody, nobody likes um, a trolley crisis, and he has predicted that this one could be the worst ever. Um, you know, we've all spent time in hospitals, unfortunately, and. I'm sure, like you, I've only seen doctors and nurses work till exhaustion. Um, and I think the problem is just shortage of staff. It's not that they're not working hard enough. Um, but, you know, I suppose it is. Christmas is a really difficult time because it's not just for hospital staff, retail staff, emergency staff, prison officers. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, like, if you it's, work it's, in a shop, you get one day yeah, off absolutely. Christmas. Absolutely. Like, so, so it's a difficult time. And, and, and Larissa, Leo was making the point today because he's... He's gone Trump style. He's doubling down on it it's today. It's the only he way to do it these down. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally nothing so else. He's to do. basically saying, look, if you're providing, a, if you're running any business or providing a service, your peak time, you need to have most of your people working, most of your resources in play. Like, does I, I he have a point? That it, I think, yeah, I, do, I actually think he does. If we're serious about solving the crisis, everybody has to pull together to do it. But I think the piece of this that's missing is that I, I presume if you talk to them in, individually, uh, hospital doctors who work endless hours anyway, I mean, the shock for me is that they even do get time at Christmas off because you see them working these 24-hour shifts. You know, they run themselves into the ground. Mm. These are people who have dedicated their lives to a vocation. And I think you find that quite a lot of them, if they think that it helps the situation, that they'll be only too happy to do it. So I think that he probably knows what he's talking about being a doctor himself. I, I would think in yeah, this case I think in fairness, a lot of what they're talking about is the first week or two in January when a lot of them take time off a after Christmas, but when there's a backlog of stuff because nothing seems to happen over Christmas in, in the health Yeah, but, if it, uh, but it does, yeah, if, it were, if it helps, though, why not yeah. do it? And I do yeah. think that they'd be the first people think, to do that. I think over Christmas, they tend to, um, you know, clinics close, departments close, um, elective surgery doesn't happen. So that's kind of managed, and you're right, it's the first two weeks. But I think it was just the way he came out with it, um, was quite, um, I, I find it kind of funny. Yeah.